Welcome to our time of meditation and night prayer. I invite you to find a place to sit comfortably, slow your breathing, to release the day's concerns and feel the day's tensions drifting away. There will be a reading this evening, followed by a time of silence. In the silence, you can use a word from the reading to center your thoughts. If no word came to you, one will be provided. It will appear on your screen. Don't worry about the length of the silence. Prayers will be offered at the end of the time of silence. And behold, a woman coming down from the hill country. And she said to me, Man, whither goest thou? And I said, I seek a midwife of the Hebrews. And she answered and said unto me, Art thou of Israel? And I said unto her, Yea. And she said, And who is she that bringeth forth in the cave? And I said, She that is betrothed unto me. And she said to me, Is she not thy wife? And I said to her, It is Mary, that was nurtured up in the temple of the Lord, and I received her to wife by lot. And she is not my wife but she hath conception by the Holy Ghost. And the midwife said unto him, Is this the truth? And Joseph said unto her, Come hither and see. And the midwife went with him. And they stood in the place of the cave, and behold a bright cloud overshadowing the cave. And the midwife said, My soul is magnified this day, because mine eyes have seen marvelous things. For salvation is born unto Israel. And immediately the cloud withdrew itself out of the cave, and a great light appeared in the cave, so that our eyes could not endure it. And by little and little, that light withdrew itself until the young child appeared. And it went and took the breast of its mother Mary. And the midwife cried aloud and said, Great unto me today is this day, and that I have seen this new sight. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace 
at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. I invite your prayers. For the people who cared for the land we live on for generations before we did, for right relationships between nations and peoples, for peace in the world, for peace in our hearts and homes, for good weather and abundant harvest for all to share, for those who we know need our prayers. May our prayers rise up like incense or Aiden, Alex, all healthcare workers, all in Halton and around the world living with COVID-19, Asher, Cal, Carol, Carolyn, Celeste, Colleen, Daniel M, Danielle, Frida, Hedda, Ingo and Sandra, Irene and Brooke, Janice and Sheila, Jerlene, Jesse, Lou and Carlo, Marg, the McAdam and Titford families, Mickey, Natalie, Neil, Ray, Richard, Rose and Herman, the self-employed who are facing the stress of severely reduced income as the virus impacts their business. Shelley, the Telesnick family, the unemployed and underemployed. Valerie, for those who need our prayers who we do not know, for those who have gone before us in faith, for those whose last day will be today. Hear my prayer, O Lord, listen to my cry. Keep me as an apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the day, especially for the good we were permitted to give and to receive. The day is now past, and we commit it to you. We entrust to you the night. We rest securely, for you are our help. And you neither slumber nor sleep, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always.